Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. Happy Sabbath. It's such a beautiful day today where I'm at. Sun is shining. Weather is sweet. Saw a couple cardinals out on my walk through the park trail. It was beautiful. And I'm here to do the lesson from God. And I hope you guys are blessed. Empower, peace, love, and a sound mind. And you're doing well. Well, this is the teaching and lesson from God. He wants to know, are you with God or against him? Is he with you or against you? Um, basically, God wants me to talk about it's either you're with him or against him. There's You can't straddle the fence. It's either you in or you out. It's either your light or your darkness. It's either your good or your evil. It's either a yes or a no. There's no in between, right? There's no neutral with God. Let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. You can't say you're for Christ and not for God because Christ is for God and with God. You understand? You can't say you are with God, you're for God, but you're not for his chosen people who he chooses. You get what I'm saying? And he wants me to get into the scriptures breaking down. It's like, you have to choose what side you're on. It's either you're on the side of righteousness or on the side of unrighteousness. The side of corruption or the side of incorruption. The side of justice or the side of injustice. And there's no in between. It's either your light and your darkness. But he doesn't tell you to stay in the, in the darkness. And this is what he wants me to explain to you because everyone's supposed to come to the light. Now, this is the teaching from Genesis he wants me to explain when he said about let there be light and then the darkness listen because this is important god show me this and to teach it so genesis chapter 1 verse 3 and god said let there be light and there was light and god saw that the light that it was good so god saw that the light was good and god divided the light from the darkness so in this genesis 1 and 4 god never said darkness was good God never said darkness were good. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. This is what he wanted me to explain to you. When he made light, he said it was good. But when he made darkness, he never said it was good. He separated the light from the darkness. That's why light shines through the darkness and darkness comprehends it not. And, all right, so he called us out of darkness, not to stay there, because even in Genesis in the beginning, it what, what was with the light? The light was good, but it didn't. God never said the darkness was good. That's why he divided the light from the darkness, because the light was good. Now, the first book of Peter, chapter two, verse nine, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Why? Why did God call you out of darkness into his mar marvelous light? Because light is good. God never said darkness is good. And because light is good, he called you forth out of it into his marvelous light. Now, Psalms 107 and 14, he brought them out of darkness. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands asunder. Now, Ecclesi now the works. What's going on here? I don't know why my laptop's doing that, but forgive me. Now, Ecclesiastes... Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 14 for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing whether it be good or whether it be evil so are your works good or your works evil because people have a notion of like hiding behind whatever title they are like I don't care what title it is um, maybe be a job title a family relative title auntie uncle sister brother cousin mother dad whatever um, they hide behind a the title but 
or whatever religious name they want to call themselves, whatever sect. But it's about their work. Is your work good or is your work evil? Because that's what you're judged on. You can call yourself whatever you want, but your work is going to be tried by fire. It's going to be, is it good or evil? Did you choose to do righteousness with your free will or unrighteousness with your free will? Did you did you sow good seeds with your free wills or bad seeds? Because that's what it is. It's good and evil, light and darkness. That's why it's the children of light versus the children of darkness, the war scrolls, the children of God fighting against the children of Satan. It's either you're good or you're evil. It's either, are you standing, do you do the works of your father, God, which is truth? You understand? So Romans chapter 1 verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. So you got men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Those are doing the works of the devil because the devil is a liar. People who do the work of God, they tell the truth. Now, John chapter 8, verse 44, you are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks it of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Now, Matthew chapter 5, verse 37, but let your communication be yea, yea, and nay, nay, for whatsoever more than these come of evil. Now, people want to argue about, you know, religion, but really God set before you a blessing and a curse, and it's what you do with your free will. Are you going to choose to do the do good with your free will? Are you going to choose to do evil? Are you going to do choose to do the things where God blesses you? Are you going to do the things where God curses you? Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and 26 Behold, I set before you this day blessings, a blessing and a curse. And Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 19, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I've set before you life and death. So are you here doing this, the works of eternal life for, for eternal life? Are you doing the works that give you eternal death, lake of fire? So the choice is always yours, you know? You got to be good at decision making. Are you making a choice of life today? Or are you making a choice of death? And he says, I've called heaven and earth to record this day against you. That I've said before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore choose life. Because with choosing life, you get the blessing. But with choosing the dead works, you get the curse. Both thou and thy, that thou and thy seed may live. So God even tells you which one to choose. To choose life. So you get the blessing. And he also tells you to come out of darkness. And he told you the light was good. And he called you out of darkness. So there's no in between with God. There's That's why the lukewarm gets spewed out. We're going to get there. Because you can't try the fence with God. Like you can't be for God three days of the week and then the other four you're not for God. You can't be, say you're for God and you're not for his chosen. That's like, you understand? Because that means you're going against him. Revelations chapter 13, and we're going to get there. Chapter 13, verse 15. I know that works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou, I would that were cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You got to pick a side. You got to pick if you're going to be good or evil. You got to pick if you're light or you're darkness. You can't be little bit light, little bit darkness. This is the end of days. He's separating the wheat from the tear, the goats from the heat, the goats from the lambs. So even if you don't want to separate, God's doing the separation. But the lukewarm, he spews you out. It's either you're hot for God. Are you cold? You with the devil. There's no in between. It's either you're a child of light or a child of darkness. It's either you do the works of God or you do the works of iniquity. Now, Revelations 2 and 2. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience. How thou cannot bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not. And hast found them liars. Now, their works. Matthew chapter 12, verse 35. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart 
brings forth evil things. Now Luke 6 and 46, a good man out of the treasure of his heart brings forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasures of his heart brings forth which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks, so you'll know them by their works and the work and the deeds they do. Psalms 38 and 20, they also that render evil for good are my adversaries. So you got people who render evil for good. People do them good, they do them evil. The first book of Thessalonians. But those, as you read in Proverbs, those who repay people evil for good, evil doesn't depart from their house. That's in Proverbs. So the people who repay people evil for them being good to them, evil doesn't depart from their house. And you know right here, there's people who render people evil just for people being good to them. Now, the first book of Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 15. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but every follow, but ever follow that which is good, both, uh, both among yourselves and to all men. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. So it even tells you the light is good. It tells you overcome evil with good. The third book of John, chapter 1, verse 11. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that does good is of God, but he that does evil has not seen God. Amen. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Psalms chapter 52 verse 3 that loves evil more than good so you got people out here that love evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness and you got people who love lying rather than to speak what's right now Isaiah chapter 65 verse 16 that he who blesses himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth and he that swears in the earth shall swear by the God of truth because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hid from my eyes. Now, John chapter 8, verse 42, 44. But you are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth. So the people who love to lie, they know they're doing the work of Satan. They're doing the work of their father, the devil. The people who speak the truth, they're the people who doing the work of God, the God of truth. You see, lie, truth. John chapter 5 verse 36 but I have greater witnesses than than that of John for the works which the father have given me to finish so Christ was doing works of the father he wasn't doing works of iniquity the same works that I do bear witness of me that my father has sent me John chapter 10 verse 32 Emmanuel Christ answered them many good works have I shown you from my father so good works good works for which of those works do you stone me so he was stoned for doing good works titus chapter 2 verse 7 in all things showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine showing uncorruptness gravity and sincerity now isaiah chapter 59 verse 6 their web shall not become garments neither shall they cover themselves with their works their works are the works of iniquity and the acts of violence 